Also, editor's note, or before the video starts, um, there's a watermark here because in real life I'm uh, actually in debt. And uh, yeah, maybe it's, beca it's because of the phones and school I'm actually in debt. Luckily I get my paycheck next week, so I'll, or by the time I record this video I'll be getting my paycheck next week, so I don't know. Hopefully me not being in debt hinders anything, but yeah, on with the review. Alright guys, it's time. It's one of the videos that you've all been waiting for. Wait a minute. Where did she go? I have a sneaking suspicion I know exactly where she might be. Oh. Oh jeez. Hey! Stop eating my goldfish! Uh, I'm gonna have to close that up and bring you back. Great. FUMO REVIEW This right here, let me prop her up, is my FUMO YOMI. She's a very much, a, she's very much a staple on my channel and yeah. I bought this adorable plush figure back in, I want to say either April or May of this year on a website called Ami Ami. I think I may have mentioned that at one point in time. But yeah, I bought this Yomu plush off of Ami Ami, and it was probably like, say $80 for her. And plus, this is a limited edition dark Yomu. Normally, normal Yomus come, are, are green and have white hair. This is the Lost Word exclusive black one. Or as people call her, Dark Yomu. And honestly, I really like that name. She came with her own pin, but I have no clue where it is right now. I might actually find it, just give me a second. Meh, well, I can't find it right now, but I know it's here somewhere. Well, I wouldn't be able to wear it right now, probably because it's bent. Why would it be bent? It's probably because I used it as a sim ejector tool because I'm an idiot and just forget where my sim ejector tools actually are. Yeah, I maybe have two of them and lost both of them. But with that out of the way, this is the Yomu. She is very paddable, as you can see right now. She's also made of this really soft, I want to say cloth here, so she feels incredibly soft to hug and touch. Also, she has this she has this adorable ghost on the back, her phantom half, or as people call it, Mion. She also has two swords on the back. Unfortunately, they're not like plastic swords, so they can't be unsheathed with a little feather here and a little white here because she is the protector of, the protector of cherry blossoms. Her skirt has the little phantom halves, which I honestly really like, and also she has the phantom halves on her shirt or phantom half on her shirt as well. And she also has, like I said, the little leaf here is two different colors, and the leaf here is also... Well, there is a leaf here also, it's not just two different colors. Her headband can't really be taken off. I mean, it probably could, but I don't want to accidentally, like, destroy the headband while doing it, so yeah. Now, what does Mion like to do when I'm away or at work or at college or something like that? Well, as you saw before, she likes to eat my food. Yeah, she's a huge lover of goldfish, as am I. And also, like me, she likes playing with my phones. Uh, my f uh, her personal favorite? Eh. Now I gotta go through the dumb phone box in order to find it, because, yeah, I got- I finally got another box for my dumb phones, and I think that's pretty cool. Aha! Here it is. Hey, and it still has a charge! Well, I- don't remember putting this on here. That that's great. I don't remember putting this on here. That's great. And it still surprisingly has three bars of battery, which is really impressive because I haven't turned this thing on in like two weeks. Mion's favorite phone, of course, is this Blackberry. I can't remember the name at the top of my head. Let me look at that up. Ah, screw it. I'll just take out the battery. I know it's gonna take a long time to turn on again. It is my Blackberry Bold 8330. That is Mion's favorite phone. And honestly, it's a, not a bad choice. Uh, Blackberries are really cool and they were really innovative back in the day, especially before the iPhone. Hell, even during the iPhone's career, they were really cool and they were not like any other phone on the market. At night, normally Mion stands, or rather, sits, right on my clock. 
I like to say that she protects me from the nightmares, but I think that's kind of true because ever since I got this Yomufuma, I haven't really had a bad dream ever since. One of Mion's favorite things to do is to watch YouTube. She's really taken a liking of the YouTuber Summoning Salt. She says she wants to become a speedrunner for a video game at some point, possibly Toho 7 Perfect Cherry Blossom. I don't know. Wish her luck, guys. Mion also really likes gaming. One of her favorite games is Minecraft. Especially the fact that 1.20 has been released and the fact that there's cherry blossom biomes makes her love the game even more. But with everything out of the way and a lot of the makeup stuff I like to make about my Yomu Fumo, I honestly think that getting a Fumo would be beneficial to you. And no, I'm not a person who's advertising Fumos or trying to sell Fumos or trying to get people to buy Fumos. Or I guess I kind of am getting people to try to buy a Fumo for themselves. But if you do want to buy a Fumo and do buy a Fumo, it will absolutely be worth your time. They're really soft and they love to be hugged. And I like to imagine that they have a personality of their own. And the verdict of the Fumo review? 10 out of 10. This was definitely one of the best purchases I've ever made. Despite the, despite the fact that this year has been a real decline of good and bad purchases, or whatever you want to call it, Mion has definitely been one of the best purchases I've ever made, and I wouldn't give her away to anyone. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the FUMO review, and I guess this is a very different video I've, I've wanted to make for a while. So, yeah, that's it. It's phony, and me and Mion will see you guys later.